What's up everyone, I am Daniel, this is DTV. Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about recycling. Okay, Fran from Soldiers and Sauerkraut, yeah! Let's do this. So recycling is a little bit complicated in Germany uh, as opposed uh. to the United States. So I figured we ought to make a video to explain exactly how to do it, right? When we first arrived to Germany, um, they give Americans this like really big recycling, overwhelming um, like sheet. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go left. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. just, I was like just I'm driving. Not telling you anything. So recycling in Germany is a little bit complicated, especially if you're an American. Uh, we're not used to uh, all these different trash cans and um, separating all the trash from one spot to another. So when you first come to Germany, they provide you with this recycle sheet that is very overwhelming. So I figured, why don't we make a video uh, with Soldiers and Sauerkraut to explain how you recycle here in Germany. Let's go. All right, Bavarian expert, we are at the recycle center. What do you throw away in this recycle center? Um, in this specific one here, we have cans, we have plastic, we have paper and cardboard, and we have... Um, glass bottles, right? Glass bottles, correct. And we also have, um, I don't know how to call it, like green stuff, if you have yard waste, yes. you can throw it away here too. So at most, at most of like these recycle centers, those are the main, yes. like, they're the main ones there. Most of them have these exact ones here. Sometimes they might not have like cans and you throw them in a different container, but these are the most common ones that you will always find. Most common. Okay, so to go over the most common ones again, you got the glass bottles, cans, paper cardboard. Okay, a quick question for you. I know where the cardboard goes, but what about the styrofoam? There's always usually styrofoam like in these boxes. Styrofoam is also like plastic, so it goes into the yellow top. Got it, let's do it plastic material, which is the stuff in the yellow bags. Yes. So we are going to a bakery right now, and the reason why we're going to a bakery is because I have found out after living here for seven years that you can go to pretty much any bakery and they have the yellow bags, the yellow plastic bags that you need for your trash can. So we're gonna ask this uh, nice lady up here if she has any yellow bags. Auf Deutsch, oder? Of course, natürlich. Freilich. Freilich. Mask up, baby. Mask up. Hallo. Um, wir bräuchten bitte die gelben Säcke für die für den gelben Sack, ja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vielen Dank. Danke schön. Tschüss. Tschüss. Boom. Secured the bag. Secured the bags. Let's Literally. go. Plastic material, which is the stuff in the yellow bags. Yes. Uh, and yard waste. Correct. By the way, the cans can also go into the plastic material. Right? Also correct. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Okay, we're throwing away glass bottles now, but uh, I cannot recycle these glass bottles because they're not your normal German bottles or whatever. Like right? basically you are recycling them. I'm recycling them, but I'm not getting money back. You're not getting them. money back. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty self-explanatory. White goes to white. Right, green goes with green. Boom. Oh, oh, these I can get money back for, right? Yes, you get money back for. Let's hold on to those. Beer bottles always. Yeah, how much do I get back for these? You get. So the first one here, this, the 20 uh, Karten Normal, those are an empty case of beer bottles, right? Yes, the case plus. Uh, included the 20 bottles. Okay, the case and the 20 bottles that go yes. in there. Okay. You get 310 for them. Yes. Right? Per per case. Per case. Then you have a normal flash, which is just a normal bottle. No, normal Empty bottle. Empty bottle. That's eight cents. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Then you have the Casten Lea, which is just a. It's only only a case oh. without bottles. Okay, so a case without bottles. That's 150 yes. per case. Yes. Yes. And then the 20 case Casten Sonder. What is this? The 20 Casten Sonder is a. Uh, a case with 20 bottles, but a special uh, Okay, case. the one, the well, pop-off, the pop-off yeah, bottles. Yeah, pop-off bottles. Right, so the pop-off bottles in the cases. Yes. So that's, that's 450 per case of pop-off bottles. Yes. 
in the Harvest Feeling Zonda. Ah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, you uh, do know. It, it's a Paulana case. You know? A, a Paulana case? Paulana case? It's a oh, the a half, half, the half, the half case. Half yeah, case. the smaller case. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay, so we did find out. That's Harvest Feeling, that's the half case. The half case and of the Paulana. And that's 225. Two, it's only it's, it's only Paulana. Paulana is the only brewery that have, oh, they okay. have have the 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 small one, the, the, small the half case. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's not the it's not the normal big cases that you see like over there. Those are the normal big cases. Yes. These are the normal big cases that you would see. Normal case, twenty beers go inside of here. This we're talking about is the half. The halba spilling is the half case, which only Paulner does half those cases. But that's two euro twenty twenty five cents back. All right, cool, got it. Where do I throw this? This is like a. It's aluminum. a can. It's like aluminum yeah, one, right? it's here. Aluminum can. Oh, just kidding. Look just at all the Corona. <laughs> We're trying to get rid of Corona here. We are getting rid of Corona. Get rid of Corona. And now a quick overview of recycling on post. Just like off base, the recycle center has designated areas to separate your trash. Read the signs to get a better understanding of what goes where and keep in mind there's also a free cycle center if you'd like to donate usable items. You also have your color coded garbage bins in designated areas all over the base. Be a good neighbor and follow the local laws or Karen might find your name and address on that box you dumped illegally. There's also a thrift shop where you can drop off donations such as toys, appliances and use clothes. You can find used clothes, uh, little stations, I don't know what you call them, little kiosks or stations all over Germany. Um, I found them in most parking lots, like at a media mart or in front of an OB, um, but they'll have little like kiosk spots where you can throw in the used clothes and we're gonna go find one right now and throw away used clothes, right? Yes. Anything else to add about used clothes? Um. I also always try to like sell my clothes, but obviously not everyone wants them. And um, if I can't really get rid of them, then I'm gonna throw them away. And what you always have to do is like to put them in like a plastic bag and then like use some yarn to close the plastic bag so your clothes will not like fly around in the whole container. Ah, okay. So plastic bag, put your clothes in there and shoes. Shoes in a plastic shoes, bag correct. too? Yeah, just tie the laces together so they're like a pair of shoes. Okay. If so it's heels, then just throw them into a bag too. Got it. Shoes, clothes in a plastic bag, tie it up, throw it in the used clothes bin, which is right... Used clothes. Uh, by the way, this is uh, where yard waste would go. Right here. Okay, so now hazardous waste, bulk trash, and refuse. Mm -hmm. What about where do you put hazardous waste at? Um, like we at home with batteries, we do it like that. We collect everything in a little bin or something, and then you can bring batteries to Obi. But also, there's a semi annual pickup or a semi annual date where you have in your town that they say, Hey, today and tomorrow, mostly on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, yeah. you can drop off your stuff at this and this place. And so, hazardous waste is mostly like batteries, or what else? What else it's is batteries, common for hazardous waste? It's also wear? apparently nail polish, it's like leftover paint that you have. Oh. from painting your apartment or something don't just like put it in the trash or don't even like put it down your sink or something so this is all that you can collect in your basement semi-annual pickup or drop off and then you're good to go okay and then bulk trash yeah bulk trash is like if you have a couch that you want to get rid of or if it's a bed or a, a shelf or whatever then um, it's also a semi-annual pickup mostly in spring and fall and then you can put it outside your house and then they will pick it up and that's only for off off post like right? to yes. like they have a special dates where you can come get it off post yeah that's for off post okay in Weiden, it's also you can call them to pick it up if you know you're moving to like either if you're PCSing or if you're just moving to a different apartment and you want to get rid of everything you can call them and tell them hey please pick up my stuff on Thursday 28 or whatever and they will pick it up for you okay. you have to pay for it though okay got it and then refuse refuse would just be like yeah, your everyday trash everyday I trash say. Like, like food and stuff 
Um, food is organic uh, refuse, I want to say. Some okay. people have either they have their their own little place in their backyard where they put like not necessarily fresh food like meat or anything, but like organic food, and then you have compost. Um, I would put meat in the refuse. You say that right because yeah. we're worried that there will be rats or anything. Okay. But you also put um, some things like. Uh, trash cigarettes like ash i want to say okay. cigarettes and all that in there okay got it okay so if you've been paying attention you have probably noticed that there's quite a bit of separating you have to do with all this trash so uh at my house we've got at least four or five different bins do you guys get the same thing like a... yeah we actually have one bin for all the cans we have one for all the glass the white and the green glass um we have one for plastic we have one for refuse we have the blue one for um, paper, the paper yep, and cardboard. cardboard and everything. Yep. And it also makes it a lot easier when you actually have to bring it to one of those little aisles because you just dump everything you have in that one container in there. So when you're already recycling at home, it like saves you a ton of work and just putting everything in one bag and then like doing every single item when you're at the recycling aisle. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna need at least four or five bins. I'll probably put that on the screen. I couldn't count how many bins you were talking about there. I kind of lost count, but <laughs> a lot. You're, you're, yeah, you're gonna need a lot of different bins to separate all this trash. At first, this can seem a little overwhelming to have all these different bins and to separate it and stuff, but after a while, you kind of get used to it. And I'm at the point now where if I don't actually put my plastic in the plastic container, then I kind of freak out, I get anxiety a little bit. So now I'm all about recycling and putting things in the right bin and separating them and uh, throwing them away the right way. So yeah, just kind of have to get used to it. And over time, it'll be uh, pretty easy, right? It's just a matter of getting used to it, I think. Yeah. I mean, well, you grew up with it, so this is just yeah. this so, is normal so to you. Don't worry about this if you like don't get used to it so easily yeah. because I grew up in Germany and sometimes I'm like, oh, where do I have to put this? So yeah, it gets confusing. It, it it's gets a lot confusing. of stuff. Yes. You know? I appreciate it though. It's very environmental friendly and it makes sense, but it's just, it takes a little bit of time and effort and, and work to do it. So the, I, the only thing I remember actually recycling when I was younger in America were my cans. Or like you, you get money for the, the cans, you know? Oh, okay. Which brings me to my next point. We should definitely go to a recycle center to throw away plastic bottles because you can get money back for that, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, so we're at Lidl now and we're gonna take back some of these bottles to get money back, right? How does yeah. this actually work and how much money do you get back? Explain how this works, please. So it's really super easy. The only thing you have to do is there's like the big machine, you put your bottle in and then you get money back for it. So for every plastic bottle, you get 25 cents. Ooh. For every glass bottle, you get 18. And there's a different kind of plastic bottle also. It has, it's more sturdy, I wanna call it. You get like 15 cents back or something. Yeah. yeah. And you have to, it has to have that little, that little recycle sign on it to yes. get money. Back, that's huh? the most important thing Where's only with this sign you huh? will get your money back okay so that little sign you you have to have that on the bottle on the yeah. glass bottle too um i would have to check actually it also has this thing too right yeah this these are the sturdy ones as you can like yeah, feel it's a little... so this one gets 15 cents back it even says it on a bottle got it okay where is it though oh there it is this thing yeah So you just put them in? Yeah. You don't have to push any buttons, you just throw it in? Okay, I've got the tickets now, so I've got some options of what I can do with this. The options are either you bring these in to the front where you actually pay, and they give you cash back, or when you're already grocery shopping, just bring them in and they will deduct this amount from your grocery shopping. Let's go. Okay, so I just found out that you can take these soda streams, so uh, canisters, and you can take them to an Etika and get them refilled, and it is way cheaper than buying them online. I used to go and buy them online and they were oh. so expensive. I didn't know 
Sure. Yeah, and but you can take them to Etika and get them refilled for a little bit cheaper. So we're gonna go figure out how to do that. I've never done it. She's never done it, but we're going to figure it out. Oh, she got a new one. Okay. Good party, bitte. Danke schön. Okay, $5.99. $5.99. $5.99. Yay, we did a good deal. $5.99. I just looked this up online on Amazon right now, and two of these are $54.90 euro. $5.99 for a refill. Saving you money here. Go refill at Etika. You're welcome. So that was a very fun adventure with Fran from Soldier and Sauerkraut. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate you um, giving me all that information about Always. recycling. I had no idea about a lot of that stuff, so um, thank you. And you saved me money, too. Always. Uh, until next time, right? Yes, until next time. Bye. Ciao. Yeah, we are.